Hello everybody, this is Vyacheslav and another lesson from Russian-plus.com. Now in this lesson we'll talk about cases of the Russian nouns. And the two particular cases that we will consider in this lesson is the nominative case and the accusative case. I've been recently asked um, several times about the differences between the two because in many forms they coincide and in many forms they're different. So let's take a look at what makes them so similar. Well first we'll take a look at the nominative case. And the nominative case is the form that you will find in the dictionary. So it's very simple. And the, one of the purposes it serves is it names an object. So if you want to say this is a cat or this is a student, you would say Это кошка. Это студент. The girl is to the left. Слева девушка. Вверху самолет. The plane is in the sky. Справа я. I'm to the right. To the right is I. If you want to be, if you want to do a literal translation. So I think this was simple. Now, another case when you want to use the nominative case, that is the dictionary form, is when you indicate the subject of an action. Кошка бежит. The cat is running. Студент читает. The student is reading. Девушка плачет. The girl is crying. Самолет летит. The plane is flying. Я рисую картину. I'm drawing a picture. So you see, this is the subject of an action. And by the way, the questions that the answer is who or what. In Russian, кто, что. So let's summarize this. First, it names an object. This is a cat. Это кошка. And it also indicates the subject of an action. Женщина смотрит телевизор. The woman is watching TV. Now let's talk about the accusative case. The accusative case is used to denote the object of an action. Not the subject as in the nominative, but the object of an action. For example, I bought a car. Я купил автомобиль. And let's take some examples. Мужчина купил красный автомобиль. A man has bought a red car. Женщина ждет своего сына из школы. The woman is waiting for her son from school. Я люблю тебя. I love you. Ты любишь маму. You love your mother. Я хочу ванильное мороженое. I want vanilla ice cream. Now you also would use the accusative case form when talking about the time of action with the preposition через, which could be translated as in or after some time. Мужчина приедет через неделю. The man will arrive in a week. Я позвоню им через месяц. I will call them in a month. Фильм начнется через час. The movie will start in an hour. Через год мне будет двадцать девять. In a year I'll be twenty-nine. Also, you would use the accusative case form when talking about the destination point with prepositions в or на and verbs of motion. Let's take some examples. Мы поедем в Африку. We will go to Africa. Мы поедем на Украину. We will go to Ukraine. Recently, the Ukrainians have demanded that people say в Украину instead of на Украину. So you, you can still say мы поедем в Украину. It doesn't change anything. Я хочу 
Поехать в Европу. I want to go to Europe. На Кипре всегда солнечно. It's always sunny in the Cyprus. Also, there are some prepositions that are only used with the accusative case, and that is про, через, сквозь. Расскажи мне про себя. Tell me about yourself. Мы поедем через горы. We will go through the mountains. Мы поедем через город. We will go through town. Полет сквозь вселенную. Travel through universe. Okay, let's summarize the accusative case. First, it names the object of an action. Answering the questions. Whom or what? Кого? Что? Мужчина ждет женщину. Destination point. Мы поедем в Африку. Мы поедем на Украину. The action time. Мужчина приедет через неделю. And it's used with some prepositions as про, через, сквозь. Я знаю много песен про Москву.